Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Badiner and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Badiner, who's not here at the moment. Um, today I am showing Sonia a couple of fancy violas. Fancy viola number one, which is coming closer to you as we speak, is called the Struner Maestro Viola. And it's quite antiqued. You see this sort of like um, patch here where someone will have been playing up in positions over the years and it's quite sort of darkened and varnished worn away. Similar on the back, it's been sitting in a case for about 300 years and the varnish is worn away. It actually is not 300 years old, it's a Strina Maestro and it's new, but they're made to look old and they're beautiful and they use old wood as well, which allows the um, well, it improves the sound to have um, older wood and high quality wood. This uses Russian spruce, which is very beautiful. Oh, there's a bridge that someone fancy made. There we go. Um, and that is going to be compared to this, which is Struna Maestro Extra. What does the extra mean? Does it mean extra special? I think that is, that is a good name for it, extra special. Um, now, differences in the way they look, you'll see that dark patch there on the street on the Maestro, this is for Sonia's information, uh, looks a bit darker than, than the worn patch on the street on Maestro Extra. The wood on the back here, you see, um, is has very nice flaming or curl, or they, they have many different names for it. But um, it's quite stripy. Uh, no tigers died in the making of this viola or the other viola. But you'll see the lines are quite further apart than on the Struna Maestro Extra. That's not always the case. It's just th these two particular pieces of wood. But they look a little bit different. Um, now, the difference with the Struna Maestro Extra is a little bit invisible to the naked eye. The Struna Maestro Extra uses Italian spruce and Bosnian maple on the back and sides, where the Struna Maestro uses Russian spruce, high quality Russian spruce, and Chinese maple on the back and sides. The Italian spruce, this wood is older, and it's um, better quality tone wood for making violas. And the Bosnian maple is more expensive and has different tonal qualities to the Chinese maple. So there's a lot more you know, money put towards the, the quality of the wood and the age of the wood in the Struna Maestro Extra. And then also in the Struna Workshop, the head maker uh, is the one who has mo does most of the making of the Struna Maestro Extra, and that's why they end up being different. But it's not, it's not extremely visible. Now, I will play these two creatures. First of all, this one is the Struna Maestro making sure I get the right one. Struna Maestro, let's have a try. and rings. It's really deep and it has this flowing sound and partially that flowing sound is to do with the resonance in the wood. You hear the, the notes that you've played previously continuing to ring. I'll sort of stop mid-sentence and you can hear all the rest of the notes that are continuing on. So it has depth, lots of resonance, um, and it has quite a nice core to the sound, but it also has a lot of sort of um, space around the sound. Um, it's not it's not enormously penetrating, but it's more it's an encompassing sort of sound. Um, I will get now Struna Maestro Extra. See if it's any different. So that also 
has beautiful sort of like ringing honey sort of sound around around the the middle of the core of the sound but it has a much sort of um, fuller core to the sound and the and that core sort of projects a little bit more so they're different in that way I wouldn't necessarily say one is deeper than the other or anything like that but this is just a bit more focused especially down the bottom a little bit more focused so it doesn't necessarily mean it's a better sound it just means it's a different sound the the better has to do with the quality of wood the way it's made and all of that sort of thing but the the sound um, to me, sure, like maybe this would suit a soloist a little bit more because it has that sort of more rigid core that can push the sound out. Now what I'll do is I'll play them once again, but straight after the other without talking and talking and talking and talking. And talking and talking and talking. Um, okay, play one after the other. I think they're both beautiful. Please say in the comments down below, say to Sonia which one she should buy. And preferably, you know, tell her to buy both, but you know, that'd be good. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. We'll see you soon. Bye.